that memo is one of a long series of memos I've written to the president. Okay, it's not the first, it's not the tenth, it's probably closer to the twentieth memo. I've been working very closely with the president for about seven years, from the time we were in opposition in the CPC to the merger or into APC and after. And any time I see a fundamental issue that requires to be addressed by him, I go, I discuss it with him. I, when, when we discuss, we debate, and I get his thoughts, I always tell him, I will go back and articulate a memo, an action plan for you, Mr. Uh, Mr. President or General, whichever the case is. And I go back and I write that and I give it to him. I have been doing that for years. So the why do you think this that. one was leaked? Well, I, 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 I don't know why uh, it was leaked. And now I know who leaked it. I, uh, I can only uh, say that it was leaked for two reasons. First, to make me look bad, as if I am disrespectful to the president. And this is why, even in the memo, I said I apologize if it was too blunt or too uh, honest. But it was what I felt... Uh, the president needed to look at to put Nigeria on the right track. Okay, um, so one reason is to make me look bad. Uh, the other reason, of course, is to uh, incapacitate the president from taking some of the decisions he needed to take that were recommended in the memo, some of which he has started acting on. The president just returned from uh, his medical vacation, and those around him knew that he intended to make certain changes and they leaked it just at that time so that it will not be seen that, uh, you know, he's implementing Nasser Erufai's agenda.